so welcome to another house video. If you are sick of seeing house videos, thumbs up this video. If you want to see more house videos, thumbs up this video. Um, yeah, so I didn't really do a full detailed kitchen tour. Like we've, I think, settled into the kitchen now for sure. So I thought I would do a full detailed one for you guys. If there's anything else specifically you want to see, obviously once rooms start getting made and we're starting getting furniture, I will show you more of that. But let me just show you a little bit of our amazing kitchen our kitchen was amazing this is the one thing we had did not need to touch we moved in made a cozy started cooking and i'm cooking tonight even like we could have gone on a date night my fiance was like let's go out and i was like you know what i just love cooking in here that's how much i love this kitchen so starting with all these amazing countertops this is the first countertop it is white a marble it is uh it's my dream i don't know if anyone else has been like that that they just wanted white marble in their kitchen i thought that was just like the epitome of fancy and bougie. So we have multiple countertops as you'll see, but I love this one. This is like a two island kitchen. Um, this one is really, really cute. Oh! Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's nice and big. I do like a clean countertop. Oh, by the way, trigger warning. If you are not into clutter, it's not clutter, but if you don't like things, if you are someone who just likes clean, nothing on the counter, you're a sociopath. Shane Dawson did a documentary on them. <laughs> I like to bright things and I'm I'm lucky enough to be engaged someone who also enjoys things. I just like things. It feels homey. I'm from the Midwest. Call it Chalkies. Call it Tacky. I love it. So yeah, this is our sink. This is the sink we use the most. There's some teacups in here. But yes, I do do the dishes. I feel like I don't really do much in our house, but I do dishes and I make butter noodles and that's kind of like my job here. My fiance does like literally everything else who I love. Um, we got white marble coasters. This is a little fish. It's one of my first gifts from Moses because just like fish. I love fish. I don't know. Like, I don't know why. People are like, I don't know. I guess it's my name. Um, cute little bowl. Yeah. Okay, let's get more into detail. That's what this tour is all about. So this house right here, um, we actually got at Christmas time. Moses came home with it. This was before we were engaged and one, we were looking at getting this house, but we hadn't gotten approved yet. So this was like manifesting everything. This was like, this kind of looks like our house and then our, the diamond ring, which I guess he already knew he's going to propose. I really wasn't expecting it so soon. So happy, but wasn't expecting it. All right. So let's go over to this little kitchen area. We have, I love Smeg appliances. Um, you can get these at like Target or no, I mean not Target, like Macy's. They're a little bougie. They're a little expensive and pricey, but honestly, they're so pretty. They come in like all these like really pretty shell candy, Easter pastel colors and our theme in this kitchen is pink, even though I didn't mean for it to be pink. We just love it. We do use this, our little percolator, for like warming up tea. I haven't used this yet, but I really want to. Here's another counter. Um, we don't use any of this. I don't even know what this is. Is this like a dishwasher, I guess? I don't know. Our utensils, paper towel holder, Duncan. This is like another sink. Again, we don't really... Oh, I guess somebody uses it. <laughs> I never use it. Um, this Keurig is everything. This this Keurig and this little hard-boiled egg maker... We're both from Target. It was there like literally two days ago. So, you know, run, don't walk to Target. This is a single cup one. It's so easy to use. I actually love this Keurig. I don't know why. And it just feels cleaner. I don't know. Other Keurigs that you just have to have that water in there for like weeks. It seems like it gets moldy. This is nice. You put the cup size you want, make your pod. We have Panini Press from our realtor. And behind me, we have all our K cups. This is a Nike blinged a bottle from a blinged up. Um, my Cinderella tea set that I got forever ago, but we want to display it. And I think I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. Then up here in our cabinets, since we are getting a detailed ladies and gentlemen, um, just our tea things, some random plates. Again, we don't really have like a setup for our dishes because um, we just don't really have like dishes yet. But I mean, we do, but you know, I'm not too big on like dish up teas. Um, then over here we have some more bowls, miscellaneous, <laughs> just like a random mug there. We have mug area, but there's a mug here. Measuring cups, mixing bowls, all that fun stuff, which we really do like, like cooking. All right, let's go into the pantry, which this is our first pantry. So I feel very bougie, but it's not organized. So again, trigger warning. I don't like, I don't need it necessarily organized in here, but um, I, I love, I love snacks. I love snacks. I love looking at snacks. I obviously love eating them. This is our eaten. This is our used chips. We've already eaten it. Usually, I can finish chips in two rounds. I'll like do a fresh open and then like if I'm like okay, let me snack on these. So these are our fresh open. I love a fresh open bag of chips. Hence why we have so many half eaten bags. Um, we've got candies, gums, waters down there. That's our water, Lacroix, all that fun stuff. I mean, it's literally like a pantry for children. Um, 
Is this the eaten one? Did you eat this? <laughs> no, it's, it's open. Okay. These are these like planet gummy things on um, TikTok. I love them. Moses thinks they're disgusting because he doesn't like the texture. I absolutely love the texture. How did this even open? These are good. And then, of course, all the pastas. I love pastas. I was going to do a keto for like 24 hours with, not, no, I was going to do it for longer, but I did it for about 24 hours. I had one keto di dinner, and I was so miserable. I was like, I just want buttered pasta, so we're making buttered pasta tonight. And then, um, okay, why are these so hard to open? They were not, oh, there it goes. Oh, these are so good. Oh, my God. I just had a shoot with the magazine now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, breadcrumbs. We love making fried chicken. Oh, we need to get chicken. We should make fried chicken. Now that I'm off keto, <laughs> I was on it for one day. I don't know. Baking stuff because I saw it. Mmm. These are so good. I can't believe you don't like them. They're just like so. Mmm. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty the meat and potatoes. <laughs> All right, right here. We have a lot of fridges throughout this whole house, like randomly. But I love this fridge so much. This is so cribs. This is all our. Fun drinks when guests come over. We have hard seltzer, big energy, peak Mountain Dew, Capri Suns. Look, guys, that looks like we're gonna be when we have kids. We're gonna be that fun house that has all the drinks. We have a rose, only gay rose for me. Perrier with cool little artist design. Moses knew this more calm me. I don't know. Some cool Gatorades. I've never seen this Gatorade color in my life. I thought that was so cute. Some tea havas. So yeah, come so over. Corona extras, you are going to be a good on liquids, let me tell you. Also, don't come over if you're not invited, though, it's like creepy. Um, a dishwasher, but like I said, I can wash all our dishes. Over here is kind of just like random, I guess. It's like keys. We should have like a section for keys. I guess our bowl kind of. This was like our communal bowl at our last house, and it kind of just got over here. It's kind of messy. I don't really, well, whatever, my whole house is, but then we have our Madam Vice President. Kamala Harris and Michelle Obama book. Baby Shark. Give these to the children who visit our house. Not many, but you know, the ones that do. We got this really cute book. Where did we get this Target? And it has, um, well, it has Adam and Eve. Okay, sponsored. Guys, today's video is sponsored by Adam and Eve. He's coaching. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't bite me. Um, but yeah, it has the story of Joseph and also has Moses somewhere. Story of Moses. Moses. Anyways, that's really excited. These we got from Walmart. Walmart's kind of like not fun. To, it's kind of because you're creepy vibe when you go inside. But they should really cute stuff. This is a Pioneer one thing. I'm absolutely obsessed. We have a pink one I've used. I know you're like, you didn't use it. I've used it. Um, you want to show that or are you just hiding it? No, it's opening. Oh. <laughs> we have our um, custom bottles of wine. It says Mr. and Mrs. Hackman. Hackman. How do you say it, babe? How do you actually say it? How do you say it? Hackman. 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 He says Hackman like Gene Hackman. I think it's... Uh, <laughs> um, I think it should be Hackman. This is one of Moses' art pieces. This is the infamous birthday present he gave me last year, um, which now I understand and love and appreciate it, and I do realize it's greatness. I think at the time, we were like kind of just casually hooking up, and I was like, this is my present, but honestly, I love it, and I was my idea to actually put it there because I thought that was really cool. He photographs water. Check out his channel, Channel Water. Um, we also got this charcuterie board of Mickey Mouse. This was off Amazon. A lot of things I got were just off Amazon, but it does come with this little cool knife, and yes, we did use this. We had some GDR crackers on it. These little tin canisters. Ari was just over here today. She's like, where did you get these? Amazon. They're like 28 bucks for the whole set. Little Buddhas from The Grove. Um, yes, that's a uh, that's like some uh it was some fan art that was given to me which was really nice i think at one of my tours we have some madonna in disney themed what, what are these we have our little jewish cups back here it's for friday night oh yeah our shabbat shabbat yes come over to shabbat if you're invited um then we got some all this pink stuff was from amazon i really don't use it again ari's like do you cook with this i don't really cook it we have some bougie pots i'll get into that in a second but they're kind of just pretty but i mean of course we're down to use it um yeah, that's kind of that for over here. Then we go, oh, that's the trash, sorry. Um, this is another, our second island, which I do cook a lot here, and I'm gonna do more cooking videos because you guys like them, so thank you so much. Um, but yeah, we just have some fresh flowers. We got, this is all just like stuff, like putting on display for the moment. Pink utensils are from Amazon. The white marble heart was Moses. And then this is kind of the cup of choice I've been using. Sad Boy 2005, I'll show you my blue cups in a second, but. Kind of the one I've been using. 
um, at the moment. And then over here we have, oh, this is just so beautiful over here. This is a Viking stove, which I like literally didn't even know oven. I don't know. It's an eight burner oven and I do use all eight burners. I'm not the best cook, but I'm learning to cook and I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, I guess this is a really bougie stove. If you know about kitchen, this was all done when we moved in. This was a completely remodeled kitchen. It's probably like a year old and we just like fell in love with everything. Like there's so much we want to change to like our house design, but this we're keeping. Knives are so expensive. I got these extra law table, literally like 300 bucks and that was the cheapest option. It's crazy. I keep Pam next to my, who are you? I don't know. I'm Pam. I'm the owner of this house. Who are you? I'm going to doubt Pam everything. Otherwise, it's a nightmare to clean. And then over here, we have all our spices. We don't like cook with a ton of spices, but we have olive oil, peanut oil, tomato paste, oregano, garlic powder, you know, whatever bad that she uses, I do too. But we do got to restock soon. Okay. So coming over here, show these babies. Those are what I'm proud of. Those are the Le Creuset. Baba she does those, but my sister actually turned me on to them. Honestly, they're really expensive, but if you cook a lot, they're worth the investment and they'll last a while. This yellow Dutch oven, oh my god, I'm gonna use that tonight. Actually, I should probably take that out. These are heavy, oh my god. This cooks pasta so well. You don't have to break the noodles, and I think it makes such a difference. We've had the best butter noodles on that, so definitely recommend. I'm gonna make those tonight. I'm getting hungry, so. Anyways. Got some random Beetlejuice. Got this from Hot Topic, Sandworm, and Elvis from the shop Elvis store. Other just random kitchen things. We went and spent like a couple thousand dollars at Sarla Table, and we got fully, fully soaked. And then over here, Saran Wrap, aluminum foil, all that stuff. Pretty much anything you need for cooking, we kind of just placed over here. Utensils, pots and pans. And who else does this? Does anyone do monkey feet? Open up their monitor. <laughs> we just do not want to be bending over as much slop, like at least as often as possible. Then over here we have a wine cooler, I guess. It doesn't feel that cool. I don't know, we didn't really figure that out. But it's cool, it's bougie. We should stock it. We go to BevMo. Because we do drink wine. If we have it in the house, we drink it. But I guess that's the problem. We'll come back a halt. If we stock this up, we'll drink all of it. Um, and then over here, just some more miscellaneous things that look pretty on display. Some Tiffany teacups, some fancy teapots we don't use, glasses we don't use. Although I really like these. I like to feel like Marilyn with those. Like maybe just a little bit of apple juice in there. Um, little ring a ding ding. Got these from Macy's. I don't know, they're just cute. They're just on display. <gasps> my favorite, and I feel like this is like the attraction of the house that people really like. These are my kitchen, oh, my kitchen, my Starbucks collection and bling cups. I'm obsessed with collecting. Tumblers and cups, and yes, I do use them. Someone asked me today if I used all them, and I do. I, I, I kind of go in and out, but it's also depending on outfit. Um, they're really, really cool. A lot of the stuff is from Blinged Up or Etsy. Um, it's just my pride and joy. I've been collecting these for so long, and I'm so happy I can finally display them. Um, the tall Starbucks cups were absolutely beautiful. Whoever designs Starbucks cups, honestly, you are so talented and so wonderful. Like I really think that's like my long-lost twin. Because I love everything. I can't go into Starbucks without getting caught. Like, I truly am like, wow. Is it just me? What is it about it? Maybe someone can explain psychologically why I'm, like, so drawn to buying cups. Like, it makes me so happy. And I do use them, but, like, why does it make me so happy? I don't know. It just gives me serotonin, I guess, as people would say nowadays. It gives me serotonin, and honestly, like, getting to see them, like, I'm just like, oh, yes, it's all been worth it. And, um, yeah, I love them. Um, but we'll just quickly go over here real quick. We won't have to show the whole thing, but here's some more... Oh, okay. Here's some more cups, collections, sort of a less blingy, but just as wonderful. Um, kind of give you an overview. A lot of this stuff, if it's custom Etsy, I found these off TikTok, the Disney Princess series. Um, I mean, most of, my, most of the unique cups I find at Etsy, obviously, if you see like a, a company on it, Disney Store. Um, I love this one. This one's one of my newest ones. That says Mick Trish's Sweet Tea. <laughs> so random. I really don't remember asking for Mick Trish on there, but I think that's dope. And yeah, oh sorry. And one of my favorite ones up here is the Maui. I love that. This is probably Moses' favorite Aquaman. Yes. <laughs> and yeah, we do use them, like you know, TikToks or whatever. More. These are more mugs. And I've gotten a lot from Target actually. Like pizzas, my soulmates from Target. Um, some of the newer uh, H3. I got. I, I took these every time I was a guest on the H3, and then they gifted me two more. So we actually have four total. I just don't know. 
I always get those on oh, my society six. What is it? Like, <laughs> I forget what it's called. Shoptrish.com so. or something? Yeah, you can buy those. Up is my newest one. I got that from Disney Store recently. I got these when I was on Celebrity Big Brother. That's us. And this is one of my favorites. This Macaulay Culkin mug. I, don't, I like it's so big. I feel like it's one of your favorites too because you're always like drinking out of it. Also, mm -hmm. this is I like because this, this guy reminds me of Moses. I did not take her. I did not. <laughs> Gotta do it. And I love all my I'm engaged. Does this ring make me look engaged? Future versus Hackman. Like, you know, once I got engaged, I was about to go crazy with it. I was like, you know, this is a once in a lifetime for me. So, literally. And then just warm. Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. Oh, we got a little Star Wars section. Moses organized these for me, which is so sweet. Beetlejuice. Oh, babe. I didn't even notice. I'm so proud of these. Yeah. We had a photo shoot today for a magazine, and they were like taking pictures of my cups. And I felt really proud. They're just like my pride. It's like, what's with these? I'm like, I don't know. What's with anything? Like, why do you collect things? I don't know. You just do. All right. Let's go over here. Here's another white marble counter with most stuff from Madonna Inn. I love this section so much. Again, it gives me serotonin. Um... So Madonna is a cute little hotel that we went to a couple hours north from us. It was so cute. It's all pink. Highly recommend. Um, this was a gift from Ethan and Hila. And I love it. We're actually going to hang it, but we just haven't hung it yet. So we'll put that right there. But yeah, all this glass ceramic stuff from Madonna Inn. They had their own wine, water, another smeg toaster. And I do use this. I love making Eco waffles on there. And then we got a bling phone. Don't use it, but it's pretty. It's just random. Probably the dishes up here and stuff eventually. More Madonna Inn. Chalets, chalets, I don't know what to say. Um, okay, and then, I love this. This is a Sub-Zero fridge. This is, this is so like cribs and it makes me so happy. Like, oh God, I don't know, I've been so happy since I moved here. But I really think it's because I, we bought it together and we moved in together. I've never really lived with anyone and now I love my best friend and it's so fun and I just feel happy and safe and protected and loved and quenched. <laughs> we have a lot of drinks. I love, this is my favorite thing, iced coffee and creamer. I don't know. I never was like that person, and now I'm like that person. So I have Fruity Pebbles creamer. It's my favorite. We have a chocolate Fruity Pebbles right here. Oh, oh, I haven't even tried this one yet. I forgot about this. My skinny vanilla latte. We all have that tomorrow. Just so much fun all the time. Oh, no, we don't have fresh Parmesan for tonight. Do we have green Parmesan? Um, yes, we do. Okay. We have a new one. I really want butter noodles on I, had, I was on keto for a day, and I was just, I, all I wanted was butter noodles, but anyways. So that's what we have right now, more liquids, and then our freezer. <laughs> We're so college but we love it. Like, I actually crave tombstone. Like, we will say, like, do you want a tombstone tonight? I don't know. Like, you just, sometimes you just want tombstone. Or, these shrimps are my favorite. I love these. We make a whole pack, and we eat them. They're just so delicious. There's our waffles, our frozen waffles. Usually we have Mickey ones, but, oh, we could try the mochi tonight. So that's our freezer, and that pretty much concludes our tour. Um, obviously, we have a really cute view out there of our veranda. <laughs> it's not a veranda, I don't even know. But, oh, it's like a Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for just tuning in. I'm glad you guys like these house series. I'm always overwhelmed. Our house tour got like a million views in like a, like two days, so thank you. Um, if you guys want to see, like I said, anything else, let me know. I'm like really proud of this, and um, you know, we both have worked really hard, and I just think it's a really good vibe house, and I, I don't know, I'm... I think you guys, I don't know, I feel very like lucky and blessed lately also just because so many people are like giving me second, third, and fourth chances and are just like, Trisha, like we love seeing you like this. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Obviously like everything I have is because of you guys and I truly, truly, truly mean that. Like I don't even know how this even happened, but I'm so thankful and grateful and um, I love you guys. So I will continue showing you stuff as the house progresses. Um, I love you and like the number one question I keep getting asked everywhere is, so random, where did I get this Mickey light? Um, this is from um, Powdery Martine. It's there right now. I checked like today. It's still there. If you want to get it, get it. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. We're going to make some butter noodles. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>